let's move on to other MMA news. So uh, it, well, we got more fights for UFC London. Dan Hooker versus Arnold Allen is set for that at featherweight. So Dan Hooker's moving back down to 145 pounds. Apparently he did one test weight cut probably about a month ago and posted it, said he made weight perfectly fine. It was a good weight cut and blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. They always say with weight cuts, I'm sure he died, killed himself a little bit there. But... I'm actually very excited for this fucking matchup. If Dan Hooker could come out and beat a guy like Arnold Allen, who's undefeated in the UFC, yeah. by the way, um, what, what is his rank? Absolutely fantastic. Number seven too. in the world. Yeah, seven he in the world. He instantly catapults himself right back into the mix there at 145 pounds. He used to fight at 145 pounds. And this Dan Hooker that was dominating lightweights, that was beating their fucking asses, I think he could find himself very successful down here at 145 pounds. I just want to know how this weight cut goes, man. I know you said you're good, but that's what every fighter in the under the sun says. Figueredo looked like death in that second Brandon Moreno fight, and he's like, the best weight cut I've ever had. Yeah. It looked like he almost passed out on the weight, on the scale. So I'm very interested in this matchup. I like that matchup a lot. Yeah, you know, I, I, think, I think the weight cut will go good for Dan Hooker, and maybe I'm just too optimistic, but I, I don't think he would move down unless he really felt comfortable uh, going back down to featherweight. Uh, but I, I think it's the right move for him. I yeah. think he probably does better in the featherweight division than the lightweight division. Not that he's small, but he's smaller uh, as a lightweight. I, I think he'll I think he'll crush it. And what a matchup. Arnold Allen versus Dan Hooker for his first fight back at featherweight. God damn. Oh, I absolutely. can't wait for it. I yeah. cannot wait for it. Joseph said, I feel like Hooker has not been the same since the Poirier fight. <laughs> Yeah, you I mean you could say that. You could also say about the fight right before that, that Paul Felder fucking war they went through in Auckland, New Zealand. Are you shitting me? He just hasn't been the same since those fights. I'd love to see what he could do at 145 pounds, man, because I think he'll be way more competitive there. I just hope the weight cut goes good, and I'd love to see him matched up with, like, an Alexander Volkanovsky. Why the fuck? Oh, wait, they train at the same gym. That's probably never going to happen. No. <laughs> <laughs> probably. You not. never know. You never know, though. Gilbert Burns fought yeah. Usman, so. Yeah, crazier shit has happened. It is what it is. Yeah, I'm very excited for that matchup. UFC's London is looking fantastic, and we got another fight announced as well. Patty the Batty Plimlet is coming back versus Rodrigo Vargas for UFC London. Whoa. Mm, that's a big fight. That's a big fight for Patty the Batty. What happened to the Cowboy fight? Remember when he was matched up with Cowboys a few weeks ago? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Cowboy Cowboy actually got uh, uh, Joe Lazon. Yeah, I saw yeah, that as well. So I like that fight. That's actually a new fight. And I like that fight better. You know, Joe, his last fight was like back in 2019. I can't remember. He finished, uh, God, who was it? I can't remember. I think it was Lentz, maybe. I, I might be wrong on that. But uh, that was his last fight, and he actually won via TKO. I don't remember who, the opponent. But I think that's actually a good matchup for Cowboy. Yeah, I like that. It's, yeah. I like that matchup a lot there. I love Patty, though. I mean, give me some Patty the Batty. Yeah. I fucking love this man. He is super entertaining. He goes out there, puts his heart out on the shield. He goes for that knockout. I'm a scouser, Mike. We don't get knocked on, Mike. I bro, love his accent as did well. Did you see how much he ballooned up? Oh, bro. Patty the Fatty? Patty, <laughs> <laughs> Patty the Fatty. Patty the Who fatty. are we to talk? But yeah, no, <laughs> Patty the Fatty, man. Goodness gracious. I, I could not believe that. I saw those photos. I was like, these are photoshopped. There's no way that's real. But he's got to make weight. He's got to make weight March 19th. I mean, do you think he makes weight fine? I think so. Yeah. Patty? Yeah. yeah why not? I mean, he lo he's already looking skinnier. He's been training for a while. He signed with Barstool Sports, dude. Yeah, you did. know that? So yeah. now he's Twitch streaming with Barstool, and he's doing a bunch of stuff. I think he has a podcast now, too. This man is can be extremely successful. He's setting himself up very well. And if he keeps winning this fight, it's only going to help him, man. He's probably going to set himself up to where he doesn't need to fight for the longest time. He's pretty fucking active over at Cage Warriors. Now we're getting another fight in the UFC. Very excited for this Vargas fight. Joseph is saying, imagine Holloway versus Hooker, please. Yes, that's a great fucking matchup. Oh my matchup. God, that'd be fantastic. Absolutely. And uh, Patty is overrated and overhyped. Okay, wow, not a Patty the that? Patty fan. That's what jo that's Joseph as well. Wow, that's interesting. Very interesting. I like Patty. I, he might be overhyped. I don't know. We just haven't seen him tested. This Vargas fight will show us a lot, maybe. Or he just goes out and knocks him out too. And then, you know, maybe we'll have to wait and see for a ranked matchup. This lightweight division is so fucking stacked and ridiculous that, man, it's going to be hard moving your way up here, especially yeah. with the fights they've been announcing, man. It's going to be rough, rough here for Patty the Batty, but he could probably do it. Why the fuck not? He's got a lot of talent. He's still young. He's still developing his game. Yeah, for sure. Very excited for that matchup. Yeah. And to round off UFC London, we got Paul Krieg. Versus Alexander Rakic on that card as well. That card's now, gonna be good. The Alexander Rakic, he was initially uh, supposed to fight someone else. Who was that? Uh, Just had to pull out. Is it Rakic or is he fighting someone else? No, no that's Jan Blahovich. Remember? Oh, that's right. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It was it was Jan. Jan maybe pulled I'm out thinking of that of some, Maybe I put Rakic when it was really someone else. Yeah, it might have been someone else. I can't remember. Hey, Paul Craig in London. Very Cause, excited cause for that. Because that's a uh, – yeah, yeah. That's a light <laughs> heavyweight, so I don't know. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We might have fucked that matchup well, up. Well, here, let's talk about this one while I look it up. Uh, Michael Chandler versus Tony Ferguson is in the works. I do not yet know if this is officially confirmed, but uh, what do you think about that matchup, Tabor? Oh, my goodness. I cannot wait if that's the truth. And, you know, we, we just had news that uh, Tony Ferguson turned down Gregor Gillespie. And then he says, they're like, okay, yeah, I'll fight Michael Chandler. Like, okay, bro, like a just another savage on the ground. And he could fucking strike and knock out dudes. He got one punch knockout power. Just went to war with Justin Gaethje in a very competitive fight. Kind of got his, I mean, I gave all three rounds to Gaethje there. But it was competitive nonetheless. I <sighs> It's a bad matchup for Tony, man. I hate to say it because I'm the, I'm a huge fucking Tony fan, but it's a really bad matchup there. And I get it, I guess. He only wants to fight the best of the best. He wants to get back in the mix in this lightweight division. But, I mean, fuck, man. If he just goes out there and gets his ass kicked again, I would not be shocked if we see Tony Ferguson and Bellator, dude. Yeah. Uh, so, Paul Craig is fighting Nikita Krylov. Krylov, my Krylov. bad, not Rakic. I don't yeah. know why I said Rakic. Because Rakic, I was like, that's a line every way. That's a big boy. Krylov, uh, my bad. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, shout out to Cosmo Reaver. I don't like that fight for Ferguson. Yeah, me neither, man. I want him to fight someone that, like Patty the Batty. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know I, what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of that matchup uh, for Tony Ferguson. I think it's a great matchup. I can't wait to watch it. But uh, that could be another one where Tony Ferguson just gets, you know, pieced up, where it's just, it's not, it's not fun to watch, you know, uh, on the side of uh, Tony Ferguson. But, you yeah. know. Yeah, man. I mean, it is, it is what it is. It is what it is. Yep. Absolutely. You read my mind. <laughs>